In this presentation, we're going to look at the exponential family of distributions, which relates to a topic known as generalized linear models. So defined what it's meant for a random variable to belong to an exponential family or the exponential family of distributions. Show that if a random variable has the has the exponential distribution, it belongs to an exponential family. OK, so. Essentially, there's a sort of process to this. Now, this is a sort of general definition, okay? And um, by the way, I sort of will deliberately mix this up, this sort of format up uh, from one presentation to the next, okay? So I won't, I, I deliberately won't keep this consistent, okay? And the reason is because books are not consistent with each other, okay? So essentially, the PDF of Y can be written as, that's it there. Now, it's parameterized according to uh, theta and phi, okay? We don't really need to know what they are. It's just that they sort of represent the parameters, and there's two parameters, okay? So essentially, the PDF of Y, which has these two parameters, theta and phi, can be written as the exponent of Y theta minus B theta, where B is a function of theta, divided by A phi a is a function of phi okay so they are functions there that's a function that's a function and minus c which is a function of y and phi okay so that is the definition there and you might sort of see this in various forms for example you might sort of uh, see the c function as a constant in uh, which in our uh, sorry uh, a function of y that precedes the exponential term. So it has different structures, basically. So we'll just sort of go with what we have here, okay? Now, so, there I have it again, just above us, just to sort of guide our eye. So this is the PDF of the exponential distribution for y greater than or equal to zero. Now, I, that's just a very, very much the short form of it there. I didn't put it in in uh, any great detail, okay? The, the formal representation of it. That's just the key detail we need, okay? So what I'm going to do here is we have this expression here, uh, lambda, and the x times the exponential of minus lambda times y. So what I'm going to do is try and construct it in the form above, okay? or rearrange it uh, algebraically, mathematically, such that it, it sort of follows the form above, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is express lambda as the exponential of log lambda, okay? Times the exponential of minus lambda y, not really doing anything there, okay? So essentially what I can do there is, um, essentially what we're doing is if we're multiplying two exponentials, what we can do is just add the powers together, okay? So we have log lambda and minus lambda times y. So that's the exponential of log lambda minus lambda y, okay? Now, what I could do here is just sort of reverse the order a bit. So I, what I could do here is divide by minus one. So uh, this, this is very sort of simple step here. When you divide by minus one, it's essentially equivalent to multiplying by minus one actually okay but in this case what we're doing here is it, it follows the form that we're looking for very closely okay so what we have here is the exponential of lambda times y minus log of lambda divided by minus one okay so now this actually follows the form that we're looking for okay so let if we're letting theta equal to lambda okay i think we just have both in shot there my pen slipped, so I just have to pick up just before where from where I left off, just before that little pause there. So if we're letting lambda uh, take hold the position of theta, and then alpha, sorry, a of phi equal to minus one, that should be a minus one, sorry. That is the denominator of that function there. So basically, you know, a function of phi can be just a constant. Okay, uh, b of theta is the log of theta, which is to say the log of lambda. Oops, pen slipping again. And then the function c, 
Well, that uh, which is a function of y and theta, again, that can be a constant which is just zero. So that's a plus zero there. That's perfectly acceptable. So we have a down here, that's minus one, okay. And b uh, theta, which is log of lambda, where y or lambda is equal to theta, or lambda is the theta essentially. And that's it, that's how you do it, okay. So essentially the key thing here is, uh, been quick with all of the exponential and logarithm formulae okay and essentially just put it into that sort of format there such that it corresponds very closely to this general format here and again in other videos I might sort of use a different general format uh, 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 different to this one okay